Hey everyone, thanks for clicking and checking out my newest vlog. Join me as I explore La Ventana in Baja, Mexico. For those who don't know, my name's Meg and I travel full time in my school bus mode. I'm currently traveling with Mac, a motorcycle traveler from Canada. And this episode, we take a break from the usual beach we've been hanging out at and head to La Ventana, which is best known as a kite surfing destination, but that is by far not all it has to offer. Come with me as I check out the tons of kite surfers, the local amazing eats, the town, live music, and even hot pools. because this looks a little hectic so he's gonna go and uh, check it out by foot before committing yeah I don't know about this looks it's so bumpy I don't know if you can even tell I think I'd be fine getting down just uh, up it be very bumpy. Yeah, what's this guy doing? getting back up and it'd be super freaking bumpy and um yeah it'd be fine but i'd uh, i'm just gonna go check back out some places in town um the town looked really cute um yeah i think it's have a little look around there it just seemed a bit of an excessive effort to get to somewhere but when we can go somewhere better i uh, will it's got easier access um still close to the beach, so. Found a sweet little spot right on the beach. There's uh, some palapas just over there. Yeah. We parked it there. Tropical ceviche here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Four hot sauces. Yeah, this is a proper way to It's so freaking good. <laughs> oh my god. It's perfect right with the sun now. Thanks. All these people over there. Super friendly. And just gave me a giant drink. It's like a Clamato beer, lime, tamarindo. So we just relaxed and enjoyed the sunset, had a chill night in Mo before the next day of exploring. After a windy walk along the beach and watching all the kite surfers, so for a ride through the town down to Lake La Ventana, um, tried and failed to get birria. We ended up getting um, just some pork tamales, just from a guy selling it out of the back of his car. I also got this butter dish. Mac bought me. 
so my one's broken. So, uh, came back here to have tamales and a beer instead of uh, going out there because it was a bit windy, but I'm gonna go back later, have a proper look around. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so good. What's inside? I might want a little hot sauce there. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Yeah. Coke is a good call. This is great. Then we went and just wandered around the town, uh, checking out all the shops with locally made goods. Even though they were pretty touristy things and it was actually pretty expensive, they had some sweet things and I was just happy checking it all out. Even the local grocery stores are cool to see with all their fresh produce and the random things they stock. <laughs> Very interesting grocery store. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't help but stop and get two for one margaritas. Mm. After a game of pool and another round, which came with delicious complimentary popcorn, we stopped by this random meat smoker on the side of the road we passed earlier. Oh, brisket! Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh. Gracias. Just mm. Ribs, four ribs. Mm -hmm. Okay. One order. Says. One order. Uh, one order to 50. Potato. Oh. Okay. So it's about six bones right. and you get some extra stuff. Can we get that one? One or two? Where's one? Potato? I think they one. Potato. Oh, and potato. Oh. Potato. Ooh. Oh. Uh, salt barbecue. Where is it? Okay, we'll take one e, order. E, e brisket? Yeah. Brisket? Uh, oh, I think we should get the ribs. I love brisket. Do you? Yeah, I love brisket. Oh, gracias. Oh, gracias. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fantastic. Mm. Yeah, brisket or ribs better? They're both good. And both. And both. Mm. Mm -hmm. After our margaritas and we got our food. Um, yum. Oh man. Cannot wait to eat this. Let me eat. It's so good. After that delicious meal, we went for a walk to a local kite surfer bar that happened to be having an open mic night. And two for one drinks, <laughs> which means uh, four.
just got to Hot Springs. Like them. They're just uh, right on the ocean here. You dig to get into the um, <laughs> to the hot. like a hot tub. So that's super deep. And that side is where like the hot comes from. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> People in front of us just uh, left and traded us spots because ours was getting super hot. <laughs> But <laughs> my video wasn't working before on my phone, but that's where we're chilling and that right here. Like the road that we rode the bike on to get here to the hot springs. Yeah, everyone. There. I actually tried to drive mow down here before but the way it took us which is along that road mow wouldn't have made it but it's fully here and a few other people so clearly there's a different way to get here so we're going to take the bike back that way to to see oh and our our friends the uh yellow truck here the by the way french family gonna be here as well so that's nice to see them Once we got back to Mo, we just got changed and walked into town to find some dinner. It's like a puff pastry ham cheese kind of Mexican style ham cheese croissant I guess. It's a super super nice day here. Uh, this morning it's nice and calm too so I went for a uh, walk the other direction along the beach which I now realise would have been the right direction to walk the other day. A really nice, cool little uh, beach bar there, which, uh, yeah, it looks cool. But we're heading to La Paz today, uh, cause hopefully getting the ferry over to the mainland to Tupelo Bumpo tomorrow. Um, but we're kind of on a wait list, not too sure what's happening yet. So, um, yeah, that is the plan. Can I have something to eat, pack up? Head into La Paz, get a couple last minute things and back to Tecalote. Uh, Cause it's super close to the to the ferry terminal for tomorrow. We went in search of lunch and to our delight the birria stand was open. Oh 
Yum. again for watching and please like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed watching and want to see more